Hey, good day everybody and welcome back to the Air Warfare Group. This is Juice. So today's video is going to be about the P-51 aircraft. It's going to be about aircraft paint and markings. Uh, we're going to touch on a couple things. First, we're going to share with you some of the things we're doing to create our own livery, which we will put up on our user file so you guys can have it if you want. Uh, we are using the 357 Fighter Group base paint markings. Uh, and a shout out, I'll put his name in, the, in a link to his YouTube channel in the description. Reflected Simulations shared a file with us for the base paint for he had that was really good it had the right levels of color and depth and layers that we wanted so he was gracious enough to give us that and, then, and a big thanks to him so we are working on our new skins and we're also paying a little tribute to the 357 fighter group which we are adopting the base layer of that fighter group for our skins of the air warfare group before i get started though let me disclaim that we are not the experts on this we do Im information research on the internet uh, what we can find through youtube and through google uh, to get information so anything you guys can add in there would really help the conversation help grow the community and help really keep alive this rare history uh, in World War II from World War II so one of the things we're starting with on our skin is we're gonna do uh, a different spinner we're gonna we're with the spinner is gonna be the same paint scheme but we're gonna touch it up a little bit the, the default spinner has some some broken paint on it but it doesn't look realistic to us we're gonna do that we also are toning down the uh, sun glare shield or the sun glare bonnet on top of the engine so that uh, it looks a little darker uh, some of the ones that are in DCS that are too too shiny too bright too black so we've got a f more flat bladder, blacker, I should say, if that's a word. We also are going to put the AWD sh AWG shoulder patch on our pilots. And we're also going to have each individual is going to have custom skins. This is Cabby's. He's the, the main artist working on this right now. And you'll see that Cabby's aircraft is Guardian Angel. And that's his custom artwork that he's put up there. As well as on the canopy there, you can see his Major John Cabby Cabigas. Cabby was uh, my mentor. For those of you that are new to the channel, got me, he's the one that actually got me to become a pilot. And uh, we've been flying flight sims together for over 20 years, uh, all the way back to the Jane's days and stuff. So big shout out to Cabby for all the hard work he's doing for the squadron. Now, they're gonna, we're going to have some different variations of the tail flashes. Uh, and s some of the information I've found online say that the different rudder color was for a different squadron within the same fighter group. Uh, and, and I'll show you a little bit about that, but I also found some information that shows that it wasn't consistent. And we may do that in the Air Warfare Group, have individual fighter squadrons, uh, the 362nd, the 363rd, and the 364th, which I'll touch, about, uh, touch on when I go to uh, Bud Anderson's website to fly in flight for you guys in just a few seconds. So you can go through DCS World, go through the liveries uh, for each faction, and you can see all of the different skins that are included in there. And then you can also go over to digitalcombatsimulator.com, user files, downloads, and filter for P-51 skins uh, to find a lot of available stuff. And I'll put a link to my two favorite. Uh, it's actually one download, but it has two of my favorite skins in there from the same fighter group. So you can see there's a lot of variation. You've got some yellow on the nose, yellow on the tail, red on the canopy. Uh, some of these uh, side numbers are baked in, and some of them aren't. One of the favorite aircraft I like to, to fly in DCS World is uh, the Gentleman Jim. It's available. This is the TF-51 version right here. You can see there's no HUD and no uh, armor plating behind the pilot. Uh, this right here is available in both TF-51 and P-51 in that. It's part of the 357th Fighter Group. As a matter of fact, you'll see in a second that it was also uh, part of Bud Anderson's squadron. So one of the famous pilots that was also in the squadron was uh, Chuck Yeager, and this is his aircraft, Glamorous Glenn 3. It's Glenn is short for Glennis, his wife. Uh, and then, of course, one of my favorite to fly is Old Crow. And you can see this is uh, baked in. It's got Bud's name in the little black plate there right behind Old, Old Crow, right near the swastikas for the kills he got. Uh, he is the only surviving triple ace uh, in the world right now. He's 101 years old, almost 102. Uh, and I'll put a link to his website. You guys should go over there. If, if you haven't gotten his book yet, I would definitely check that out. It's on my reading list uh, to pick up. And there is an episode or two on Fighter Pilot Podcast that you can listen to uh, Bud talking about his time in the P-51 in World War II. So Bud's aircraft is part of that same group. 
Gentleman Jim is, like I said, one of the free aircraft that we get in DCS World that's really modeled well. It's got the baked in numbers and, and letters on it and everything. And Gentleman Jim was flown by Jim Browning. Uh, if you guys didn't know that, that's where the Jim came from, Gentleman Jim. And we're going to use Gentleman Jim's aircraft to go through and break down some of the numbers and meanings, uh, the colors and the meanings on some of the numbers and letters on the side of the aircraft. So here is Jim right here. Uh, talking with one of his ground crew guys out in front of his airplane. You can see this is a D model uh, Mustang. It's got the uh, got the bubble canopy there. It's got Gentleman Jim. Looks just like this one, except this was prior to him putting the uh, top hat and the cane on there uh, stuff. So here's a little bit closer look. And now, if you look at this graphic I've got here, A is the spinner. Uh, the spinner in the lead cowling check, checkered uh, pattern there is to indicate the 357th group and all the squadrons in the group. Most of the aircraft within those squadrons had this on it. You see the name Gentleman Jim on B and then C is the artwork of course. D is the kill score tally there. You, you can see he's got uh, one, two, three, four, five, six kills at that point. Uh, and then you get down to further back in front of the roundel and, and you know the, the star and bar. You, in front of that, you see B6. B6 was his squadron code, and P was his individual aircraft. Now, something that I need help, going down to F on the tail, something I need help from you guys. If you, any of you guys have a reference, it would be great to put a link in, send it in a comment, but let us know. The in, if, if you use current U.S. Air Force uh, tail numbers as an indicator, the first two digits on like an F-16 or F-15 usually in, uh, indicate the year that the year that the aircraft was produced and then the last three digits or four digits indicate the serial number individual serial number of that airframe in this case you know you would think using that logic this would be like it was built in 41 in the fourth quarter and it was number aircraft 000937 off the line uh, the zeros are not shown in there however i don't know if we really had any any production line 41 Mustangs in there since we didn't enter the war until um, until uh, 1941, and uh, although we did develop the Mustang for the Brits, most of those were already serving with the Brits before the uh, as A's and and then soon to be B's and then C's and D's. Uh, so it's really interesting. If you guys have any information about that 414 on the tail, let us know and everything. Uh, if you look down at G and H, you can see there's the uh, the uh, invasion stripe, the reduced invasion stripe underneath. Uh, and the mirror is a little different than what we have in DCS World, uh, as, as always. And uh, this is the aircraft from the left side, if you're looking at it. And you can see that in, on the, in front of the roundel on the side of the aircraft, B6 is the squadron code, P is the other code. And if you, you look at the tail numbers, you see 414937. If you flip it around, you see 414937. You still see the B6 in front, and you see the P. And I'll show you in DCS World what you'll need to do if you want to get some certain codes. And I'll show you what we're doing for our squadron, actually. So let's do this in DCS. I'm going to alt tab over to DCS and we're going to go to our red squadron colors which I'm doing. Cabby likes the gold and I'll show you Cabby skin here in a second. So this is going to be my aircraft paint scheme right here and then my special code we went with Bravo Bravo you can up uppercase that or lowercase if you want it comes out on the airplane uppercase BB and then you'll see that it looks like one of the B's is still back in the behind there. And then I'm, my individual aircraft code is J for juice. And then my unique number for me on the roster is 237. That's a special number to me. And I can look on the roster when I slot into the mission. And I can say, okay, there's aircraft 237. That's my slot. That's where my responsibility is and everything. So if we do that, now I'm going to clear, that's that's how mine would look right there. You'd see BB and then J and anybody in the air could see that and they could verify, hey, he's a red tail and he's got 237 on it. Now Cabby's, let me clear this out. Here's Cabby's aircraft, Guardian Angel, and you can see there's his nose art and his name on the canopy and he's working, this is the baseline, he's building off of this and he's actually made changes. This is not as dark right here, these th black stripes I'm pointing at with the mouse if you guys can see that and the cowling. Those aren't as dark and we're going to fix that. But Cabby's special code is BB Bravo Bravo and then Victor for his middle initial. I'm not going to tell you what it stands for. And then his unique number is 599. 
and there's uh, there's what Cabby's airplane looks like. That's what will be baked, not baked in, but that's what we'll have set up in the mission editor when we do that. So, and then finally, let's end with a little visit over at Bud Anderson's website to fly and fight. Uh, I'm not associated with Bud. I've listened to him. I've probably been at an air show where he's been uh, in California. He lives uh, in the area where I learned to fly near Beale Air Force Base. He's down in the town of Auburn. Uh, and uh, Cabby probably has run into him a couple of times, too. Uh, just like as I ran into Chuck Yeager one time at the airport, he's okay. I didn't knock him down or anything. But uh, Bud's website is right here, and this is where I got a lot of the information. So if you go to his website, you can read the 357th tribute here. And it's a really good uh, story. It shows you the, the 357th patch there. Uh, I'm going to get with Cabby and see if we can put these patches on the opposite side. We'll put the Air Warfare Group where the U.S. Army Air Corps uh, patch goes on the left and we'll put the uh, the squadron for uh, the or we'll put this group on we'll put the uh, the air air warfare group somewhere else we don't really need it on these airplanes but um, over here here's the three squadrons the 362nd the 363rd and the 364th and I like the 363rd that's the squadron I want to be with uh, I think cabbie is going to go with the 362nd and I don't know which one of those were yellow tails or uh, the you know the yellow rudders and stuff like that. But you can also find out information. Here's uh, they got a model builder's guide right here, and it talks about how to uh, you know when you're painting and get the authentic authentic markings when you're in scale modeling. Uh, it's pretty good. Look at this, pretty cool. I wish I had those skills when I was a kid. Uh, if we go over here to resources, you can go and look at some of the aviation artwork. Look at this. Here's a old crow as a B model engaging some uh, some BF-109s with uh, B-17s in it. These are artist renditions. Here's a D-model Old Crow. I saved this picture here. I love this. I might use it as one of my wallpapers and everything. Uh, and I think you can order these too. You can order these uh, from the artist directly if you want to get a full-size print done uh, or a replication of it. Probably a photo or a litho, something like that. So, And then if you go to see P-51 Mustang, you can get history on the Old Crow, modern Mustang Warbirds, which I will be flying and filming in one in about two weeks um, at uh, Madras Airport. If you guys are in Central Oregon and are going to be in the Madras area on the 28th at 11 o'clock, come on down and say hi and get some pictures with Juice by the uh, by the Mustang. Uh, and then they've got some heroes here. Let's go look at those. There's Old Crow, there's Gentleman Jim, there's Glamorous Glenn 3, and then somebody else up here, which uh, it'll tell it right there. There's Fallen Comrades, depicts Bud Emerson, yep, Bill Overstreet, and Eddie Simpson, right there. There's Jim Browning, a little picture of him close up. There's Edwards K. Simpson. Uh, these guys were both killed in action during the war, February 9th, 1945. A little bit of a tribute there. Uh, remember, as Jello says, guys, if somebody, if you're a veteran and somebody uh, wishes you a happy Memorial Day, it's not a happy day. And you should remind them that, no, this is not a day of happiness. It's a day of memory of those that have passed. And I've talked too long. You guys have been great. Thanks for giving it a thumbs up. If you really, really, really think we should upload our skin onto the user files for download, be sure to give the thumbs up on the video, and that will give us an indication on how many thumbs up if it's really uh, in demand or if we can put it out there for you. Again, look in the description for links to the website and to some of the downloads for the other skins. And you guys have a great day. We'll see you in the next video. Cheers.